welcome to another That Horse Game playing video. Now, as you can see at the very top of the screen, it says Test Phase 05, Patron Only Build. Now, Mindev asked me to tell you guys that the current public demo, so the one that you can get for free, is quite outdated. So if you want the most up-to-date one, definitely go subscribe on Patreon. And subscribe on Patreon anyway, just to help out this game. It's looking great so far. I'm really excited. I haven't played any of it since my last video, so I'm interested to jump back in. Mindev told me there's a lot of other things to do now and I did see I did see archery which I'm so excited for I don't think that there's ever been a horse game to do archery apart uh, I don't actually know of any tell me if you know of any horse games that have done archery before but I'm super super excited for that so let's just jump into it now I think let me E to okay E is the interact button that's very standard we like that the house looks pretty similar very nice design by the way this is a horse game and you have a lovely house this is lovely so I let's go outside now she's got a running animation it it's quite good to be fair like it's a bit awkward with the hands like she's, go, she's going along a bit like this but it's still a lot better than the last one um how do I get her to walk so control is walk it definitely still has a little bit of trouble when I've got the mouse, uh, sorry, the camera focused on something. That if you can see, she kind of jitters when I change direction a little bit. But again, really, really minor stuff. Really minor stuff. So let's. So there, there are paddocks here now. I don't remember if there were paddocks here before. But oh, look at the ponies! Hello. I think I'm going to take the white one. Oh, there's one lying down. <gasps> I've got to go see it. Is that a black horse? I kind of want to ride the black horse. Can I E to, uh, to enter? Now, she told me that E is to, like, mount and T is to lead when you're standing by the horse. Or you can hit Alt and it will basically free your mouse where you can click on the horse. <gasps> it's true. So I think you can pet, you can ride, you can lead and... I'm not sure what the horseshoe does. I don't really want to, to disturb this horse, though. Oh, never mind. I already have. That's a nice animation. So in terms of the model, the models have improved, I believe. Um, they are more updated and they look... Oh, horsey noises. They look really good. I'm proper excited for this game. Mindev, you are doing such a good job. I'm genuinely so excited for this game. So, Pony, can you... Hang on a sec. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Right, if I alt, um, alt and then tap, press, can I lead you? You need a halter or a bridle to lead. Ooh. Okay, can I, I need a tool? Hang on, pony. Okay, I can just jump on it. Okay, interesting. Right, um, I was going to go get the bridle. <gasps> Ooh, the controls are, seem smoother. The, the turning seems a lot smoother. Oh, we're in an extended trot. Oh, yeah, so I have to remember the controls, because... I think it's it's shift and yes it's shift and control yes shift and control yes that controls the speed and then w and s uh control the extended and the collected now this rain is wonderful uh but i am trying to look for the stables i think they're over there let's go have a look uh this is looking so good so far can i just appreciate the rain puddles and the fact that the area gets misty that's so cool. I believe this does look like the barn. This th that that's that's an arena, I think. And here's the barn. So let's let's dismount. Oh, F F is to dismount. There we go. I'm just learning my buttons. Right, E to open. Ooh, I think there's a light switch. Is there? Oh, <gasps> there is. That's so cool. And it's that's whoa. Okay, look, I'm gonna get a bit nerdy geeky here, but I I don't I'm going to assume that that was on purpose. But have you ever switched on lights and they don't immediately come on, or they take like a couple like minutes or seconds to to warm up? That mmm mmm that's the kind of stuff I like to see in games. Oh, that scratches my monkey brain. I like that. Okay, so how do I? Where's my tack? Because she said to me that you can carry the tack now, which. Mm, the only game that I know that you can carry tack in uh, is Red Dead. You can't do it in Star Sable, can't do it in Elisha, can't do it in in other games um, names. But I'm pretty, I'm so excited for that. I need to actually find the tack though. Uh, that might take me a, a wee second. But oh, there's a light switch in here as well. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful. And there's a bicycle. Can I ride the bicycle? No, uh, that, that I think would be like a bit too far, 
but I'd still kind of like to see if I could ride the bicycle. Okay, so that that's immediate like teleportation with the ladder. Um, if it's gonna stay like that, I think that that's fine. I, I'm not a big fan of, of ladder climbing anyway. Uh, I feel like it's a bit of a waste. I am struggling to find this tack though. That's the only thing. Am I looking in the wrong place perhaps? Because these kind of look like feed rooms. So I can go into the stalls, lovely slidey doors. I'm liking the sounds as well. The sounds are, sounds are nice. Okay, there's the outside. We don't want to go out there just yet. I think this is the outside as well. Is there, I don't think there's a way for me to change the time or the weather, but, oh, I've, where's my horse gone? Oh, hello. Oh, it like, oh God, it's so dark. Okay. Do I have a flashlight? I saw, I saw in just another pixel video that she had a flashlight and now I, how do I? Oh, hey, I, I for inventory. Oh, oh, my saddle stuff is in here. Silly. Okay, so what do we want? I think it's gone very dark. It's got, I, I don't seem to have a flashlight. Okay, um, okay. That's fine, I suppose. I think I'll go with the silver brown. Oh, I wish I could see what this looks like. <laughs> Uh, is there a way for me to reset the time? Okay, I'll just go into the barn, I suppose, and, and have a look. Wow! Oh, look at the light flare on it. That's so cool. Okay, so here I've got... Now, I have to say the run is a little bit awkward when you're running with the tack. Theoretically, though, you wouldn't run with tack. Um, just a, just a heads up, I wouldn't mind if the person was automatically slowed down by holding the saddle. Maybe that's a bad thing for me to say. Maybe people will shout at me for saying it. But in a lot of games when you're carrying something, especially something like a saddle... See, the walk, in my opinion, looks fine. The run is a little bit awkward looking, so maybe if you restricted us to only walking. Oh, my horse has come back over. How nice of them. So here's... What, now, can I, um... Can I hold a bridle? <gasps> she can hold a bridle, too! Oh, Mindev, you've really outdone yourself here. This looks amazing. Okay, it does look a little bit stiff. Again, I'm being really critical here because it's looking so good so far. Um, really happy with that. I'll pop my my saddle in my hand uh, and we'll put the saddle on... Is it hand? No. Is it saddle? No. Is it saddle? Ooh, okay. So I can put the horse equipment in here. So we've got a saddle. We've got a bridle. Uh, oh, and we have a saddle pad that we can pick. I'll go with the green one. I quite like the green one. Saddle pad. And there isn't head accessories yet. But it's good to know that they're, that she's thinking about adding them. So that's really cool. Also, you can see in my inventory, we've got, like, the brush, the hoof pick. Um, oh, the bow. And an apple. Can I give my horse an apple? Can I, can I give? Oh, I've mounted. I have mounted. So she told me that there was apparently some archery... Also, this this environment is looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, that there was a, an archery course or something like a like a, a shooting range, maybe maybe I can get apples from or something. Well, I have a trot around. I'll have a quick look at the animations. Um, now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to be most critical on these animations just because they are a core uh, part of the game. Um, again, it, it is still in progress, so anything that I say will most likely be taken into account. So it's really important for us to give cr constructive criticism, but not to just be rude. Um, I think the, again, the animations do look a little bit stiff, uh, in my opinion. I really love the controls, though. You've done really, really well with them. Um, the, actually, the trot's nice. I do like the trot. The trot's good. Uh... One small problem though, when you're kind of changing direction, the horse kind of sometimes stutters a little bit in the uh, animation loop. What is the, ex oh, and we're in a canter now. Yeah, again, a little bit stiff for my opinion. Um, yeah, same same issue with the gallop. The gallop looks good, but uh, when you're turning, the horse kind of stutters a bit. And do watch because the textures pull on the saddle pad the, the, that that's all i can see at the minute but it is quite dark um if we could maybe pew and make make it a bit brighter so that people could see it uh, in post but other than that this this game in general i think 
horses are the hardest thing to get right in games because there are so many moving parts you know it's not quite like a car where the wheels spin and you can add like special effects um you know horses are very complex but so far it's looking really really good i just say the animations do need a little bit of work but without without further um flabber flabbergasting no flabbergasting is like that you're shocked at something. I, I suppose I am quite shocked at this game. It is very, it's looking really, I hate to say it, professional. It does look really professional. Um, you should be proper proud of yourself, Mindev. But I try to find, I really want to try out the bow. I really want to try out the bow. So you could do archery on horseback if you hadn't gathered that. Um, there is also this lovely trail that you can go trail riding on, which is amazing. And I have not encountered a loading screen yet, because I know in the original game, to go out into the wilderness, there was a loading screen, and there isn't anymore, so well done. There's also a beach section here. I don't think there's much to do on the beach just yet. Um, no. Can the horses swim? I think is a, is a good question. Let's see. Is it going to block me? The horses can go in the water! The horses can go in the water! Wow! So it seems... Yeah, it seems that the horse is stuck at a walk. Can it swim? I'm going quite deep now. The horse is still walking. Okay, I think I'm going to make the assumption that uh, at some point you will come to a barrier. I think I can kind of see the edge of it. It's a smooth bit. But it does seem like at the minute you can sort of walk with your horse in the water. That's really, really cool. A lot of games tend to um, panic about water and don't let you into them. So that's really nice. Now, there isn't a swimming animation and we don't actually, like, swim. We're walking in the water. Still really cool, though. Right, let's um, try out this archery. I so want to try out the archery. Um, I've just got to find the course. Maybe, actually, I'll have a quick look at her message to me. So, there is apparently a tree where you can shoot apples. Now, unfortunately, I have been unable to locate said tree, but that's fine. I feel like that that's fine at the minute. I don't need apple reward. Um, one thing I did notice is it got dark very quickly, um, and it has continued to be quite dark. So... I'm not sure, it might have been because I was doing testings before this, and so I was standing in the house for quite long, um, but it does get quite dark quite quickly. Is there a way to change that? No. I might, there might be a bed inside the house that I can go sleep on, but I'm, I'm, I'll just stay like this, we'll just have to increase the brightness of the game so that you can kind of see it a bit better. Oh, it's on her back! That's so cool! Right, how do I... <gasps> right click! Ah, oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, it actually... Oh my god, I have a fire bow. What? That's so cool. Okay, I was not expecting the bow mechanics to be good. But it basically, the best way I can describe it is if you've ever used a Minecraft bow. That's exactly what it's like. And I love the mechanics. Super simple. Doesn't need to be too, too flashy. <gasps> this is actually awesome. Oh my goodness. This bow mechanic is awesome awesome now that's one thing i say about like minecraft it's it's so unfortunate because um you can't like really control the horse and do arrows and bows things but in this game you can because as you can see i'm controlling the horse and also separating my uh, my camera so that i can that's so incredible oh my god guys if you're not supporting this game please like e even if mindez was to like abandon the project right now there is still like, so many cool mechanics in this game. And she's not going to do that, by the way, I just want to say. Um, but we need to be supporting this game because she's come out with results. Um, she's come so far. Her and her, her little team have come so far. I think, if I'm not wrong, it's still just her and her, her partner. Um, I could be wrong, though. I'm so sorry if I am. But they have done an incredible job. This is... Oh, I'm so impressed. Right, so you can do the bow mechanics. Mwah, brilliant. Oh, so I might just play it afterwards just to just have some fun. Definitely, I'd love to see, like, uh, a bit of an archery course. Or even, Mindev, idea, a, a race. You know how races are always so standard in horse games where it's just run from point A to point B with some jumps? How about, like, if you've ever played Red Dead, there's, like, an archery race in that, so you have to run along and hit the targets to, like, continue. That would be really cool to see in this game. That's interesting. So the horses walk away... Can I? So I think it's 
I think she said T. Yes, T is to, to lead. And you, oh my goodness. Leaps and bounds in the horse game industry. We can run and lead the horse. <laughs> Incredible. Incre it's so simple and yet so amazing. I love that. So we can run and lead the horse and the horse will trot. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, it's raining again, but uh, I really like that because I noticed when I get when I got off the horse, the horse started walking away because I wasn't leading it. That's what normal horses do. <gasps> Love it. So I don't know if they're going to change that in the future. Um, to have like maybe you have to tie your horse up somewhere before you can like do brushing things because it will walk away. Uh, but as of right now, I don't think that's possible because I think. <gasps> Look, I've got a brushy brush. I've got a brushy brush. Okay, how do I? Horsey, horsey, no. Come back. Come back, horsey. Hang on. Uh, can we pet? <gasps> I'm brushing the horse. I'm brushing the horse. I'm brushing the horse with tack on, which I shouldn't be doing. But, you know what though? I've noticed that the way, did you see the way she brushed that? She actually brushed around the saddle. So she didn't, I don't think she, she touched the saddle, which is again, something that doesn't happen in a lot of horse games. Usually they'll just go straight through it if you've got a uh, tack or something on. Um, so let's do that again. So we can brush, yeah, she goes for the neck. She goes sort of underneath. And then she goes for like the flank area. Nice. I'm actually so impressed with this game. I am so incredibly impressed. Right, so I can hoof pick as well. Let's see what- So, uh, if I do this. <gasps> wow! Wow! No way, wait. Shut up. If I go around the other side, will she do the other side? <laughs> Shut up! What? More need, more people need to be playing this game. It's oh, it's the little details. Mwah. I'm I'm such a big critic of of horse games as well. Um, because as somebody who's played lots of other games and you see the standard that they're out and then the, the little details, it gets frustrating when you play horse games and they're all kind of the same thing. But I'm so impressed with it. Now, d does it do the back legs though? That's it. That's it. I, what, guys, this is, this is one person, this one person made this game, that is nuts, I am just, I came into this video, I don't know why I was, it's gonna roll, okay, maybe it's not gonna roll, but it's gonna lie down, that's so cute, I came into this video, Expecting to see some little changes that, that we know. I know that the graphics got an overhaul. You might notice that um, I was not and the horse is yawning. I Was not expecting this much quality of life in the game this far and I, I reckon a hundred percent that there's stuff I've missed. I haven't even touched the course builder yet um, I'm not sure how to I'm just gonna leave my horse there. It's just gonna just gonna chill I'm gonna guess it's this sign It is Oh, <gasps> stop. Wait. Shut up! This is so cool! How do I rotate? Hang on. Um, is there a Q? E? Shift? No. Okay, I put one down. I'm not... Oh, we can move. Oh, no, we duplicate. Oh, no, we moved it. Uh, 45? Yeah? Does that... Okay. I'm not... I'm, I'm clearly not great at... This is mad. This is actually nuts bonkers i don't know how to rotate things but i'm i'm not even mad about it i am not not even mad oh my goodness oh my goodness if i'm correct i'm gonna be so impressed if can i if i no hang, hang on horsey hang on um hand hand horseshoe Saddle. Okay. I don't think I might be wrong, but I don't think that there's a like a a a, 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 a a an animation to put the saddle on. I'm genuinely I'm actually flabbergasted. I, I take back what I said before. I'm actually genuinely flabbergasted at this. This is incredible. So right, I I'm I don't want to keep like I don't want to make this video an hour long because it will be an hour long. Um, I do kind of want to show the 
freezing though. Is that do I have to just leave my horse sort of on some grass? There's a paddock here. I mean, perhaps I can do the outro on the grass and show the grazing. I'll have to open the gate and then let my horsey through. Gate is open. Um did I break the game? I broke the game. Oh, here we go. Here it is. There's a horsey graze grazing here. White horsey. Oh, wait, no, it got down. Ah! I need to slow down. Okay, can I back up? Is there a way for me to back up? Yes, nice. Oh, interesting mechanic for the backup. It does actually follow the camera. Uh, that's, that's interesting. I don't entirely know why that would happen. But let me open this gate. Lovely. And jump on the horse again. Nice. Nice. Let's go. And I'll leave it in the paddock and let's see if it'll if, if it'll graze. I'm gonna hope it does. Right, so let's dismount. Leave the horsey be. Right, so this game. Wow. Oh my god, look at the grass. Okay, so I think. The quality of life is like through the roof. Um, horse is about to lie down. Quality of life through the roof. Um, the the things that you can do are really nice. I love the attention to detail, like the lights taking a second to warm up and switch on. Um, grabbing the hoof that you're closest to and not just doing like the same one or, um, you know, doing them one by one in like a mini game. Really, really like that. The graphics are just, are oh, incredible. Like these... Mm, they're so good. Um, I think the one major downfall of this game at the minute is probably uh, the horse animations. And I'm not super, super a, a big fan of the uh, models either. The hair could use a, a little bit of work and um, the coats as well. But you know what? I am more than happy to overlook that for the game that we have right now. And I'll give it to Mindev. She has a really difficult job ahead of her because all of the surrounding environment is such high quality and high res that um, she has to then produce horses that will match the environment as well. So um, can she do it? I 100% believe in her and she will be able to do it a lot more easily if you support her and you can support her in so many different ways joining the discord posting about the game uh sharing the game on other platforms you can uh, donate to the patreon those are some great ways or just talk about it talk, spread the word talk about the game um play it for yourself there's the uh as i said before the public demo is quite um outdated compared to the one i have here if you want the one i have here go to the patreon it's not expensive uh, trust me it's worth it um but other than that, yeah, this game has come absolutely leaps and bounds. And I think uh, this game has a an incredible future ahead of it. I genuinely believe that. So impressed. Uh, but that is it for me today. Um, if you have any comments you'd like to put or, or say, I will be reading them down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!